Yo, yo, yo. So this is Mangle. It's a passive Eurac module that Nick from Blood Cells Audio and I have been developing over the past two years. And now it's finally out and available to purchase. We have a first run of 100 modules and it's currently on sale now. You can find a link to it in bio or description of this video. So I wanted to show a quick simple usage of this um, using the XPO by Make Noise um, as an oscillator running that through two passive mangles. As we know XPO is a stereo module so I thought it would be cool to hear the stereo signal mangle by our module. So right now we're hearing XPO without the mangles engaged and like I really love this oscillator. It's a super cool sound. But you know every now and then maybe you want some more spice or you wanna just like distort the hell out of it. And that's what mangle is good for. I've engaged the, the two mangles again in the chain and uh, yeah, you can hear it's quite a big difference. I mean, obviously we're distorting the hell out of this um, using this module that I'm very proud of. What I like to do when I've set something up is to kind of just mess around with all the parameters and you know, you'll get all these different flavors and there's a more detailed walkthrough that Nick did on exactly what everything does, but just wanted to show like what you can do really easy without even actually knowing what you're doing, you know, just move stuff around. You can see here I've switched to the alternate chip on the module and we're getting quite a different tone here from this alternate chip. Um, love the quality of like what this sounds like let's hear it without that's no mangles just the oscillator which still sounds really cool on its own but i want that spice i want that hard hitting distorted in your face bass synth let's activate again I love that sound and the, the texture that it brings. So the way this Mangle module works is that it doesn't actually require any power from the case itself. Instead you have a power in on the front panel, meaning that you're sending CV signals from whatever modules you have in your case to power up this module. And it kind of helps push or mangle the sound through this chip that doesn't have a power source of its own. Instead, it's dictated by whatever power you're sending in to this CV input label power in. There's plenty of modules outputting a steady voltage or even better, an unsteady voltage. Uh, in this case, I'm using an ornament in crime in like five volt mode, I think it's called. So it's just sending a steady five volt. But then things can get even more interesting by, for instance, in this case, I'm boosting the five volt signal with blood cell audio. Some other new module came up today called the MUM that we have right here. Um, I'm not even sure how high the voltage is of powering it, but it sounds good and I like it. There's a 410 from WMD outputting a 5 volt to the other manual. We're turning down the boost here a bit to just hear what happens now as we're actually starving the power signal coming to the mangle. Yeah, it's like barely making it through. And it gives it this really interesting character. Let's turn it up a bit again to hear it power up, essentially. Mmm, nom nom nom. Yeah, there we go, that's a nice screech. Let's switch chips. Yeah, 
different flavors. Another thing that we're doing in this patch is um, we're sending some random CV from Make Noise Wogglebug into the bias CV input on Mango. Um, we can't really hear it right now when the input drive is maxed out, but once we turn it down, we we'll start hearing a pattern emerge. There it goes. Now we have some more headroom. And we can actually hear this modulation in action. Very cool. You can take a similar type of random signal and shoot it to the power in to get all these like weird conflicting pops and clicks. Let's add some make noise mimeophone to the end of chain here as well for some extra goodness. Better dry. We really want to hear the character of what Mangle does. Let's not distort it further with reverb and delay. But of course you can also use so of course you can use this for a mono voice as well. I mean I'm sure that's what most people will do unless you're crazy and decide to get two modules, which if you do, uh, all the power to you. Uh, but you can totally do this with just one and make it stereo with reverb or short delays and stuff like that. But it is cool to hear it in stereo. Okay, let's just mess a little bit more with this as we close out. <laughs> types of clipping, and then your phone back in, have it go a little crazy. Thanks for watching, order yours today.